so i'm inside the aws management console and let's go to services and from there let's go to ec2 now over here as we can see there are no instances running currently and when you click on volumes you'll see we don't have any EBS volumes currently available and now let's click on AMIs over here select public images so here it's going to show us a list of AMIs available for this region and you if you see over here the root device type is EBS and there are certain AMIs where root device type would be instant store so let's look at some of those like over here you will see these AMIs have instant store but for our demo we are going to pick a uh, AMI with EBS as root device type so let's go to instances and create one windows based instance obviously it should have a EBS based root device type and then we will create a volume and attach that volume to the instance so over here let's click on launch instance and when we scroll down let's select a windows based server and as you can see over here the root device type is EBS so let's just select this one and let's just go with t2 micro because it's free uh, review and launch so we're not gonna change anything over here let's just look at the storage and it's gonna allocate a 30 giga gigabyte volume to our server and let's click on launch and let's go with my key or whichever key that you had created and now it's creating an instance for us so let's go back to EC2 and see what's up with our instance so it's under creation currently so now we have our instance running and let's look at the device type over here here the root device type is EBS so once we have our instance up and running let's connect to our instance so I'll go I'll click on connect and over here let's get the password let's choose our file so I will browse to the location and I'll select the mykey.pem file click on decree password and here we have our password so let me copy that password and then I will download the remote desktop file click open click connect over here and I will enter the password over here now we have connected to our server and let's check So it has around 30 gigabytes of available storage. Now let's go back to our management console and then create a volume. So I'll click on volumes over here. And we already have one volume created, the default volume the 30 gigabytes that is being used by our server so I'll click on create volume over here and 
it's a general purpose SSD let's keep it and size let me put it as one gigabytes and the availability zone the availability zone has to be in the same availability zone as our EC2 instance so let me keep it as US1 USD 1A I don't want to I do not want to encrypt this volume and let's just cre create and as you can see over here it is creating our volume So now the status is available. We're going to click on the volume, click on actions, attach volume, and we are going to attach it to our instance. And let's keep the device as default. Click on attach. And as you can see over here, it is in use, so the volume has been attached.